Unfortunately, prior to the 1950s, there were limited treatments for diseases or terminal illnesses, causing many to die. However, the development of radiation treatments and chemotherapy helped many cancer patients survive. I'm sure you heard of CPR before, but did you know that it was created by William Cohenhoven in 1950 as a mistake? Boy, aren't we glad he made that mistake, because it saved and continues to save thousands of lives. Polio is a virus that has been around since the early 1900s, but it really started to spread around the 40s and 50s. Paranoia about the disease spread like wildfire, and soon parks, playgrounds, beaches, and pools were deserted. Fortunately, in 1955, an injectable polio vaccine was made available to the public, thanks to Jonas Salk. In 1957, Albert Sabin created an oral vaccine which was safer and more convenient. Although the virus was never completely eradicated, today it has become extremely rare, and this is all thanks to Sabin and Salk. In the 1950s, Americans had more disposable income and more leisure time to enjoy recreational activities. Before the 50s, televisions were available throughout the U.S. However, they were expensive, so only rich families could afford them. In 1957, this all changed. More than 80% of families owned at least one television. As a result, TV shows were produced, such as I Love Lucy. Here's a crazy fact. One episode of I Love Lucy got 44 million views. That's more than the amount of views for the presidential inauguration, which was actually the following day. Other shows were The Toast, Toast of the Town, The Lone Ranger, Gunsmoke, and even police shows like Dragnet. In 1957, a group of mostly white writers and artists who called themselves Beats or Beatniks criticized American culture for its sterility, conformity, and emptiness. Although it was a small movement, it paved the way for the youth cultural rebellion of the 1960s. Rock and roll also became extremely popular around this time. Teens loved artists like Chuck Berry, Ray Charles, Little Richard, and The Comets. Fun fact, Little Richard and Chuck Berry, both of whom were famous artists during the 50s and 60s, actually inspired the Beatles, whose music swept Britain and the world in the 1960s and continues to send fans today. Now I'm sure you've heard of this next artist. In 1956, teenagers adored Elvis Presley. He was known for his various movies and songs, and is still very popular today, averaging more than 9.9 million monthly listeners on Spotify. Created using Powtoon.